Eddie, Eddie. Hey guys, um, it's Steady Eddie here. Um, lots of people have been saying that um, PCs carried by add-ons, um, and I'd like to show how. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an, a no add-ons test, um, because it's true, you know, I'm I'm carried by add-ons. So I'm going to take away my add-ons and show you. Um, kind of how and why you're carried by add-ons on, on, on PC. Um, so let's just go through them. So, yeah, Arcadius Trade Tools, obviously. Um, when I'm fighting, I need to know what the price of Columbine is um, on average, because if I don't, it kind of stresses me out too much. Um, so taking this away will really affect my gameplay. Um, Azura, um, this changes where you can put your health bar and stuff, and uh, your UI, um, and tells you how much XP you have until the next level. Um, so by taking this away, I won't know how much XP I, I need until my next champion point, and when I'm fighting that will really put me off. Um, so I'm a bit worried about taking that one away. Um, Beam me up. Now this one, this lets you teleport to, um, it lets you like search a zone and it, sh it gathers all the people from like your guild and your friends list and it will let you easily teleport to them um, without having to, you know, search through your guild and stuff like that. So if I'm in a BG, right, and I want to port out real quick and I don't have beam me up, um, it's going to be difficult for me, I think. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll take it away and see how it goes. Now, champion point respec. This basically lets you respec your champion points really quickly. So, um, if I'm mid combat, right? If I'm mid combat and I really want to change my champion points, um, I can you know, quickly respec them with that. I, it's OP, man. It's OP. So, I'm kind of worried about this. I'm about to go into a BG and I won't be able to change my champion points in there. So taking this away will be really difficult. Uh, now combat metrics. Combat metrics basically tells me if I've killed someone or not. Because um, I can't tell without combat metrics if I've uh, if I've killed them or not. Um, so when I take this away, it's going to be super hard. It's going to be super hard. Uh, yeah. Now cooldowns or cooldowns basically tells you uh, if you've got a cooldown on any on any proc sets it, it counts it down um, I'm not wearing any proc sets with a cooldown um, that this shows I'm running the fate staff but it's not updated so it doesn't show it um, but the thing is is that I, I actually can't count on my own I find it really difficult to count to uh, to work out if I uh, if I can't uh, if I have my cooldown or not. So yeah. Daily Alchemy, this does my Ritz for me. My Daily Alchemy Ritz for me. If I'm in a BG, right? If I'm in a BG and I know I've got to do my Ritz after I get out, um, and I know that I'm, it's gonna take me like two seconds longer because I don't have this add-on, that will really put me off my gameplay. That will really put me off my gameplay. So taking this away will be really hard. Daily provisioning the same. Lazy Rick Creator, yeah, it's the same thing. Um, you can see I already have some add-ons disabled because they were just annoying. Global cooldown monitor. Uh, this is actually the same as cooldowns if I remember correctly. I think it's. Uh... Oh no, it's not. It's it. This is the light attack one. So this is for PVE. Um, so I don't actually use it anyway. Um, but it's a carry in PVP. You know, it really carries me. Grace Gold tells me my what my weapon damage is at. Um, if I if I don't have Grace Skull, I'm not gonna know if I even have weapon damage. I don't. I won't even know if I even have weapon damage. So it's kind of a carry actually. Group loot notifier. You know when you're in a BG, um, some people will like get their rewards for the worthy then when they're waiting. If I take this away, I won't be able to see if other people in my group have picked up their rewards for the worthy. Um, and that's really kind of devastating to, to gameplay for me. Um, so taking this away will be actually really hard. Um, inventory insight now. Fuck me. If I'm in Cyrodiil, right? 
and I'm fighting someone, right? If there's another set that I use, like Spriggans, for instance, at the moment, and I don't know where the mall is, on which character the mall is, I can't just look it up, and I'm in the middle of the fight, and I know that I can't just look up and know where my Spriggans mall is, that really, really puts me off my gameplay, and I just don't know how to handle it, so... Yeah. Um, Mayat's Tick Tracker... Um, I don't know if I even have this enabled. I don't know why it's ticked on. I don't usually have it enabled. It tells you when your stamina recovery is going to tick. Um, this is a massive carry because if I don't have this on, I actually don't know whether I have stamina recovery or not. I actually don't know. Um, so yeah, that's a massive carry actually. Because when it's off, I, I literally, I'm like, do I have zero recovery? Do I have 2000 recovery? I don't know, you know, and uh, that's hard. Now, Sky Shards. If I don't have this on, I won't know where the nearest Sky Shard in Cyrodiil is, and that's going to really affect my gameplay. Um, yeah. And Auto Repair. This basically, when I go to a merchant, it repairs my gear um, automatically without me having to go into the repair tab. Um, that's a massive carry in PvP. That's a massive carry. Um, <laughs> I don't mean to explain that one. Um, but now this is actually the one that I left to the end because everyone always says that this is the biggest, you know, this is the one that carries you in in, in PvP because this basically tracks your buffs. Um, so right now, if I um, rallied, it would count down my rally and tell me when it's run out. Um, so I actually am genuinely going to struggle um, if I don't have action duration reminder on. Um, so we'll see. Oh, we'll just reload you right here. Oh, but I just thought. I just remembered. I just remembered. I can just go into settings, and then I can go, go into combat, and then I can go, can go into buffs and debuffs, and then I can just say always show, and I can put self buffs on. And now when I rally, it's gonna fucking show me anyway, isn't it? So it doesn't even fucking do anything, does it? Anyway, we're going to go into a BG now, um, and I don't know how I'm going to cope. I don't know how I'm going to cope, honestly, because I'm going to be in the BG, and I'm going to be like, I don't know the price of Columbine right now. I don't know the price of Columbine right now. Do you know how stressful that is when you're in the BG, and, and, and someone's fighting you? And they're batting your shit down, you know, they've got, they got fucking bait on, they got Zahn on, they got everything on. And and you're sitting there, and on top of all this, on top of having to deal with all their damage and all their, their incoming stuff, you don't know the price of Columbine? <laughs> like, it's stressful, man. It's stressful. I don't think people understand how much of a, of a carry that is. I don't think people understand how much of a carry that is. So here we are in the BG. Um, it's kind of stressing me out actually that I press my number one button, it doesn't come up with the little number. Oh wait, it just comes up. Sorry, it's just because usually with the action duration reminder, the number comes up like on top of the skill, if you get what I mean. Like the number comes up like here on top of it, whereas now the number comes up here. Um, so that's going to affect my gameplay a lot actually. Um, it's going to be quite hard. We'll, we'll see how I do, we'll see. Yeah, I'm fighting this guy, and I don't know if my rally's up or anything. I literally, I have no idea. So I'm gonna go for this guy here, and fuck. Do you see? I couldn't finish him off. It's because the price of Columbine again was going around in my head, and I didn't know the price of Columbine just then, and it was really stressing me out. So you can see we've killed this guy. Um, I'm assuming because we killed him, he doesn't have any add-ons. If he had add-ons, if he had add-ons on, this is what I mean, if he had add-ons on, he would have killed me. If he had add-ons on, he would have killed me. Because right now, I could tell by the way he was playing, he didn't know the price of Columbine. He didn't know the price of Columbine.
See, he survived just then. He survived just then because of his add-ons. Um, you see that stun with the Arctic Blast? Um, yeah, that was an add-on. Again, uh, this guy, he died. If he had add-ons then, he would have lived. He would have lived. this guy again man if he had add-ons you know he had the zahn right he had the zahn on me and it was hitting me really hard but he could have timed it better if he had the add-ons on so that he knew that the zahns was on me because he couldn't see that zahns was on me you know he needs the add-on for that you kind of need the add-on to know if zahns procs or not so yeah it's kind of it's kind of sucks with him if he had the add-on the zahns probably would have killed me because he knows then that the zahns on Almost died there. You see, I almost died. If I had add-ons just then, I wouldn't have even come close. I wouldn't even have come close. I almost died though. You know, if I have, when I have add-ons on, I don't die. I don't die. That's what happens. Like I don't die. Oh, uh, well. You can see I didn't die without add-ons, but I only got six kills um, and only 600k damage. Um, 600k damage was only the second highest in the BG. Um, um, and this guy was a Necro as well. Um, and I'm a Stampler. So, um, I think that, um, you know, if I have add ons, I would have probably got like, probably like 2 million damage, I reckon. Um, I probably would have got around 2 million damage. Um, because I didn't have add-ons, I only got 682,000, um, and only 6 kills. Um, you can see that my team actually, none of these guys had add-ons either. Um, you know, went 0, 7, 1, 4, 0, 6, none of these guys had add-ons either. Um, th this guy down here definitely had add-ons. Um, same with these two, you can see they didn't die. Um, it's because they didn't have add it's because they had add-ons, sorry, it's because they had add-ons. Um, so yeah, um, that concludes this video. I just wanted to demonstrate how um, add-ons really carry your gameplay. Um, so yeah, uh, like and subscribe. I'm streaming on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash with two Ys at the end. Um, and yeah, see you later.